morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. If you're new, my name is Grace and today I'm going to be giving you a room tour of my university halls. So I am a student at Carlton University. I'm living in Telepont North in a standard ensuite room. I'm in a flat of six people. They're all lovely, love them all. And I just thought when I came to university in Cardiff, I didn't have many videos still to watch to see what my room was going to be like. When I got my accommodation on results today, I was like, do I have loads of storage? Like, what's the kitchen like? You know, what's the kind of the corridor vibes? Things like that I didn't know because there was no videos online. So I really hope that if anyone's watching this video, I can try and help you out. I'm also going to film a bit of like a campusy tour around Taliban North to show you guys what the area is like. It's really lovely and lots of people say like they don't really like North and it's not as good as South and things like that. But honestly, it is so nice and I absolutely love it here. I really love my room in North and I love the area. So here we go. I'm filming this the day I go home for Easter. So a few little bits of bobs are missing because they're in the car already but I just thought I would do it before I forget. If you guys like this video, please smash that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up. It really means the world to me, and let's go on with the tour. So, entrance into the flat. Door, <laughs> it's been a few birthdays, got a banner up. This is our flat, six rooms. Nice little room in the corridor. And then into our kitchen. So, voila. We got a nice little board. One of our flatmates, Mina, has been doing these little drawings of us all, which is so incredibly cute. And I can't wait to finish them all, but yeah. Massive board for loads of people decorating their heaven they want. Obviously, we chose to do this. Some people have put photos, some people put like wallpaper stuff. But yeah, nice little change. And then we're on ground floor, so we seem to have two smaller fridges, which is slightly annoying. Some people have got bigger fridges, but for six people, it is it can be quite hard, but we make it work. And to be honest, once you're here, you can just all share them all. And then, obviously, your freezers, three on each one, which is fine. I know, but we've got new bins, not mega fussed on those. But yeah, loads of cupboard space. I think when you come, people don't realise this. But no, there's loads of cupboard space, and yeah, so I'll finish you in my cupboard, just in case you're curious. So this is where I keep most of my pots and pans. And then I also have this cupboard full of like bits and bobs, glasses, oats, some more seasoning in there. So to tell this is my room. You guys might have seen in my university moving vlog, I did a quick room tour, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit more information and talk kind of through some more stuff. I just thought of as a present for when I came to university off one of my family friends. They got off Etsy, but look how cute it is. And university, you need to have a wedge one, not a weight, because these doors are really, really heavy. So as you walk in, down here we have two shelves. I kind of use these for soft drinks. Also got my alcohol as well. I got my this little Disney cup. <laughs> my little frozen Disney cup. Because why not? It's nice to have plastic cups. Yeah, I bought this gin glass, I haven't used it, I'm just too scared. <laughs> Pot a protein shake, plastic cup, a few, you know, Red Bull <laughs> if I need it. And then plastic cups and some little spirit things. So underneath here I've just got you know, my little cleaning bits and bobs. I've got two spare diffusers for my room, some anti back spray because you know what's going on at the moment <laughs> toilet cleaner spare masks spray some extra tea towels and then i also done at the moment keeping my ring light in a bag because it's not really feasible to have this out all the time so just chilling in the corner which is the best you can do for now and then when we moved in we got this little bag of like goodies i haven't really eaten any of them i'm not really fancy with noodles but that kind of just lives there for now so moving on to my shelves, there's three bosses, two. So right here I've just got some spare playing cards, an engineering book, how to survive uni. This is really fun. <laughs> there's lots of good things in here. It's a really good book. I highly recommend for anyone just a bit of a fun read, to be honest. You can, you guys can read the titles of these. And lots of new good books. I loved doing those last year, but I've had no time so far. And then I've just got like a little bits and bobs box with kind of like my day to day. I need to grab plasters, a hairbrush, my keys, hair stuff, sunglasses, you know, like normal bits and bobs. You need to grab and just leave your that kind of stuff. And then I got a very important room key, my little mirror for myself. Hello. And then at the moment, I'm keeping some of my makeup brushes in here, two makeup palettes, and then like a little heart with my. There you go. Bobby pins and a little fake plant plus some stamps <laughs> for post. And I've also got this really lovely print I put in a frame. It is from Kingdom Threads Co. I will link them in, in the description down below. I've got loads of jump from there, but I really love this print from Disneyland Paris. It's my home and my favourite Disney park, and I thought the colours would be on my room, so I got that. 
finish off above, I've got this little sheep because obviously I'm Welsh and got a bit of Welsh stuff in my room, which my family found when I moved to university. So I've got this little cute jar from the range with some fairy lights in it, but it's really nice. Just this is on my shelf when the lights are all off and a little bit of light up there. Got a little Guinea perfume, and then we've got these three plastic fake plants from Ikea, which are really cute. And for uni, my sister made this absolutely gorgeous memory book. I'm going to show you a few pages now, but it's absolutely so lush. Yeah, so she's got little Polaroid photos of us as we were growing up. It's lovely, so I can't wait to add to it more in the future. So then from the shelf, I've got my big, big, big board full of lots and lots of photos you can see. These are my moving uni cards. One well, of my best friends, Karis, for my 19th birthday, got me this little photo word art with all of like sport words on it, which is really cute. And it matches my room. This is my card of my parents with Hinge University. And then my godparents got me this little poem quote thing, which is really nice. And then obviously I've got my, some of my uni files and all of them and my mm, thick with 10 C's <laughs> maths textbook. Back to my board, I just got I have these three prints from Emily's Wonderland. She is, I absolutely love her YouTube channel. One of my favorites ever. And she released some prints. So I've just got these three and put them kind of right, right where I'm staring. I can stare at them every day and be like, yes, Grace, you can make magic. <laughs> from my board, go to my desk. Well, I was filming on my camera, but the battery completely died on me. So it's now currently charging. But I got, it's like any D light that you can have plug in with like a normal Apple charger. And it's really helpful and small. This is a spare ethernet cable, just in case all else fails, I need it. It's got a little pot here. I normally just keep my chargers, they're not using them. Oh, I've got some tiger pens for my bullet journal at the moment. Obviously my laptop, my laptop case. My iPad kind of like stays on my desk. And then I've got my bullet journal and my training diary, my two essentials. <laughs> and then this area is normally my, oh no, my to-do list pile. So these are my most recent ones, some mind maps and some more lists because lists and mind map are my babies and that's how I basically survive. <laughs> As we go along, I've kind of got like things I need to kind of keep, just some memories. I've got bingo cards for the first couple of weeks, loads of good fun. My little move-in signs and then I won't open them because very personal, but my parents wrote these little letters for Grace from Booth University. It's keys on my desk so I can always look at them when I'm feeling a little bit down. And then one of my favorite things ever is this framed picture, the four little rock people who my family and obviously everyone knows 2020 was a really hard year, but you guys read the quote. I love it. Do you know what it's got my residence life mug. We got me moved in. To be honest, haven't used it. It's kind of like a pen holder. And I've got my Jamal crown <laughs> from Christmas time when we had our flat Christmas dinner. I kind of try to keep all of my receipts from shopping in a bag just because I ever need them. You can just stay by there, out the way. And then for my 18th birthday, my godparents got me this really wonderful frame. As you can see, full of words that people associate with me, really. <laughs> which is quite, which is lovely, and it sits there on my desk. And I've got another plant with a tag still on it, which adds a little bit of nice greenery to my room. Now I have like the main body. So obviously my lovely bed, I have got a mattress topper on it. I highly recommend getting a mattress topper. It's really, really helpful and it's so much more comfy, but yeah. I actually have two duvets at university. If you guys saw my university moving vlog, you would have seen that I have a duvet. So it's nice to change them, have something fresh. At the moment I've got this little polka dot one on, but I have also had more like a more plain a white one. I think beds are actually pretty comfy to be fair. I quite like them, but lots of pillows for like little sofa bed vibe. Got one of my Yetis here, the other one's at home, but yeah, a little cuddly teddy. I'm not ready to say that because who cares? And then side of my bed, got my little clock, very helpful. This is the best lip salve, lip repair cream ever. You guys have to try if you haven't. A little frame with all of my best friends but that I got everyone before I went to university. So every, every single one of the group of nine of all before got one, which is really lovely. These are going to save your life. You must get earplugs. Then I've got like a, a dual charger for my Apple Watch and then obviously just a normal phone charger which then obviously connects to my AirPods for at the moment. This is like a bedroom light. Um, and then, right, just go down here. So, so when I moved to university, I had no idea there was any underbed storage in my room. And I tell you now, there is so much. It is awesome. So as you can see, loads and loads and loads of space. It's so helpful. 
And I've got like a smallish box full of food. As you guys will see my videos, I always kind of go in there. Take those at the moment because my room is quite cool. Training kit, trainers, foam roller, and a yoga mat. I got this rug quite recently from the range, and honestly, it's changed my life. It's made my room feel so much more homely and comfy, and I absolutely love it. I think we got this world map from Etsy, but I can't find the link anywhere. But it's so lovely. And then above my bed, I've got my fairy lights, but I've got all these boxes. I've got the double, I've got another set of three on the other side i'll show you these three so i've got my training kit in this one kind of like going out tops a few like you know shorts and then there's my spare towels sheets my universe jumper then i got a little spin in the corner some more photos inside the bed and then i bought this mirror from i think in the range of home bargains and it's really it's transformed my room i love it just over the door because the doors are quite thin i kind of blue tacked it so it kind of stays more against the wall but no it's a really nice mirror so and in my cupboard, there's so much more room than I ever thought. So I've got a little scratch off map. This is from the Instagram page. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description. But it's cute, a little pink, match my room. And then, woohoo! We've got loads of room in here two shelves and a shelf up there. Obviously, these are all hangers I bought myself. And then, if I could bend down, it's got like a little shoe rack. We've kind of really easy to like compact my shoes on. More space back there. So I've got two hoodies, my rug bag, some spare loo roll. And there's obviously more room behind here as well. So I've got pasta at the moment, two little bags and some more wintry boots. Last but not least, I have <laughs> a bathroom. So my dressing gown normally goes on here, but it's in the washing machine at the moment. All right, I'll put the light on, but it's going to make a little fan noise. Just bear with. I don't know if you can hear that, you might be able to or not, but so it's kind of like a little step up bathroom. A few little shelves again and i've got like little boxes underneath here just to put my stuff in and then like a little bin but no the bathroom the fan is a bit annoying to be fair but it's an ensuite and does the job it is more of a wet room so you have to take a few things out in your shower but it does the job and it works really well so can't really complain my lovely little room so i'll set up my bed and i get to see these lovely lovely lights it looks better in person than on camera you can't really see but I want to show you like a little, little glimpse of it all. It's lush. Okay, so room tour is over. I'm just going to quickly pop you guys around Tallinn. You guys can see a little bit of what's going on. So that is Talibant Gate, which is the newest accommodation in Tally. It's really nice, like one big block. So if you turn this way, you have the beginning of North. And this is block T and that's S. And these are all standard on suites. It's really nice. And look at all the sun glare. Let's not go that way. North's really nice as, and like South, there's quite a lot of greenery around here. So we have this little basketball area and then this is some of the massive 4G pitches that Cardiff Uni has where SU clubs, sport clubs take place. And then over there, which I'm gonna walk to later, is the Talibot gym, indoor facilities. But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely green area and loads of open space. So like in fresh, we're all hanging out here. And then another positive is North is a car park, which is where my car is, which is very helpful for me when I get the train in. But North and Gates share a car park, super helpful. And then literally that is the Taft Trail. So in there is the Talbot gym, it's lush. I need to do, what well, when things open again, I need to go in there and I'll show you around. Some tennis courts and now we come to the like the beginning of north. Over there's towards south where the mail room is. But then all of these are the smaller medium ensuite rooms. So I'm just gonna walk that way and show you a bit around. This way. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then back right here. Hello, Mrs. Eagle. <laughs> Didn't show this earlier, but outside my window are the massive hockey pitches and more car parking over there. And would look at that little bad boy, you know, just chilling. Chilling out my bedroom window, you know, as you do. It's this lush, you know, there's so many Aldi, Tesco, KFC, McDonald's, there's a Greg's. So, it's lovely. Love my little north. So, that is it for my university halls room tour, little area tour. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really means the world. And I'll see you for a new video really soon. If you guys have any questions about 
halls in Cardiff. I don't know all of them obviously, but I can try my best and find people who do. Give me a message on Instagram or leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. But I'll see you guys for a new video very soon. Bye bye.